all sorts of different types as well. But these are the ones that I, I just uh, happen to have uh, lying around in the uh, in the shed out there. Um, I'll just quickly uh, move on to uh, different type of connectors that we've got. Now there is vast amounts of uh, connectors that you'll find all over the place, different names, uh, variations, um, adapters, um, SMA to BNC, male, SMA to BMC, female, uh, N-type, uh, M-type which is the uh, PL259, SO239 which is the, the connector that that one fits into, it's the female version, and uh, well, th there's all sorts. Um, this one here is uh, BNC. Well, is it, that's the uh, that's the female. No, oh, sorry, it could be the male. Oh, I'm <laughs> actually, don't, don't call me that because I'm not really too sure. Um, I'll just show you how it works quickly. Uh, this is actually my new toy. It's a uh, Yupituru MVT seven one thousand seven one hundred seven one hundred. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it cost me a hundred pounds, which was uh, very very cheap. Um, there you go. There's uh, the other half of the BNC with two lugs on the outside. Just one there, one there. Uh, that just fits over the top, spins around and you're on. Um, sorry if I'm teaching you how to uh, suck eggs here, but um, there we go, that's, uh, that's a BNC type with uh, a screw-in type for your cable, so you don't have, there's no soldering, uh, no compression fittings. Uh, it just literally take the end off your coax, screw it in, and you're away. Uh, this one, bane of my life, is also a BNC cable. Sorry, the camera's going funny. Almost the same as that one, but uh, you have to take it apart and uh, solder the ends. That just uh, slips over the cable, and then you'll have some uh, inner parts. There should be a rubber bit in there and a uh, cable compression gland, uh, and then that pin there pushes through, and you have to solder that on, put it all together, and then screw it up tight and hope it works. Uh, I've never got on with BNC connectors because. Uh, I just can't do it, I've got to admit, I just can't do it myself. Uh, this one here, the mo most common type that you'll see for uh, amateur radio, it's called the, the PL259 or the M. Um, that just comes off, that's the bit that uh, actually screws onto your radio uh, to tail it on. Actually, you've got a, a recess in there where that can pull freely, but then uh, it stops against the, uh, the, the side wall there and pulls it up into the radio so it can't go anywhere. Um, shield connects to the inside of here and then obviously the uh, the inner of the coax is uh, soldered to that point there and then just cut the rest off. Then you've got your uh, connector. Um, this one's actually uh, the 9mm version which is designed for the RG213 or similar equivalents, and it should just uh, should just pop in there. Nice tight fit, like that. It's got little little screw threads. I don't know if you can. There you go. You can just see them there. Like little screw threads. So it helps to uh, put a little uh, just put little marks on there where it's tried to pull it down. Um, and then for the you can get the six six mil version of these. But uh, I haven't got any at the minute, so I've got the reducer, which takes it down from 9mm to 6mm. Uh, that just screws in there, all the way down to the bottom, and then that's good enough for your uh, your other cable. That's the wrong type. The other one, yeah, fits in. You can see, you can see where I'm coming from, huh? And then you you just uh, solder the solder the braid in there and uh, solder the inner there and uh, you, you're away so there's your uh, there's a few of the few of the connectors some some of the uh, some of the cable and uh, if you get some of your 213 got PL259 and a PL259 on another one if you've got a uh, you've got a lead that can connect uh, your radio to an auto ATU or uh, power meter, watt meter, uh, various other accessories, um, linear amplifiers as such, and uh, yeah, it works very well.
I've, uh, I've just got some uh, special tape on the outside there. It's called self amalgamating tape, and I'll show you that later on. Uh, it's fantastic stuff. A bit expensive, but it's uh, well worth it. It stops the uh, stops the water penetrating uh, coming down the cable, which uh, makes it less effective. Um, right, I'm coming up to the uh, the 15 minute mark, and I know that YouTube doesn't like it, so uh, I will stop it here, and uh, we'll be back in uh, a couple of minutes.